Hi, my name is David. Today we're going to do Shuffle the Array, an easy level problem on Leak Code, and we're going to use JavaScript to solve it. So basically, given the array nums consisting of two n elements in the form like this, you return the array in the form like this. So for example, n equals, here's the nums array, n equals three. So the length of it is 2n, so there's six values inside of this array. And then here's the output. And basically what they do is that three, it goes, it gets split in half here. And basically you wanna do two and then three and then five and then four and then one and seven. So n is like the new starting point where you wanna put that part of it into the second part of it. So it starts over with this x1, divides it to be y1. So basically what we're gonna need to do is that first we will have to create a new variable to hold the output array. Create shuffled output array. So we're gonna push, that's gonna be our final answer. And next we need a, a pointer system to, for the second, to shuffle it. So we're gonna create, create pointer variable J and set it equal to N. So that's gonna be used to get the, to when we loop through it, get the second variable second index value. So after that, we're gonna loop through nums array, but only until, until n. And inside of this loop, we will push to push nums i, to shuffle, and then afterwards we'll push push norms index of j to shuffle, and then after you get the j, you we increment increment j, and that will be how we get the shuffle version. And then we'll return shuffled. Okay. So first we will cut, create the variable shuffled, set it to an empty array. Next we create the pointer variable at j equals to n. And now we loop through nums for the i equals zero, i is less than n, i plus plus, so that we wanna get the half of it and it starts at zero. So this one will get zero, one, two, and less than the third one. So that's what we need. And we will push it to so fold dot push, let's get this in there. And next we do the same thing, but with J. So J will be, this one will be three. So you get three, we'll go in the second one right there. And let me change this. You increment J. And this will only go up until we do the loop. And after that, we return shuffled. Let's see. Great, we got it. So basically the time complexity is we're doing a loop, so of 
n and space complexity b o of n because because we have to create this new subfolder array to it. Thank you.